guys welcome to my channel and welcome to a speed build video in this video i'm building the winter wonderland wedding venue from my disney legacy wedding so you already saw this building if you've seen that episode if you haven't it was really fun they got married i was really happy uh <laughs> it was a fun time so if you want to see that the link will be in the description as always and possibly in the eye in the corner if i remember this video is sped up way more than it usually is because normally i do builds in two parts the first part being the outside and the second part building the exterior interior sorry interior uh, like all the furniture and stuff but this one didn't really have that because most of it was outside anyways and that was sort of like building furniture and stuff so i couldn't really do that so i just sped it up way more <laughs> uh, i do try uh, it's like a lot of trial and error in this video also if you hear some background noise i'm really sorry the dishwasher is on right now and i don't want to turn it off because it literally just started running and it would be kind of sad if we had to wait that long so i hope i'm hoping you don't hear anything my microphone is pretty good at filtering out the background noise anyway but you might hear some stuff so you know just a heads up uh, i apologize and i can't really do anything <laughs> so the main idea of this wedding venue obviously it's like a sims wedding venue i know a lot of people get married in churches and stuff i'm not religious so i don't have like if i i would be getting married i wouldn't be getting married in like a specific religious sort of place i just pick a wedding venue but i know lots of people have like different places for their ceremony and like their dinner stuff and you know there's like I don't know but this is like an all-inclusive everything you need wedding in the sims so there's like a bed somewhere because i know how annoying it can get when you try to hold a wedding and suddenly everyone needs to use the bathroom or like is really tired and you're like i can't do this like this my kids need to be watching me getting married and they're tired and they're sleeping and peeing their pens and you know so everything is included in this one everything you might need <laughs> and then also of course it's winter wonderland themed i have the snow mod installed i will upload this to the gallery um one version with the snow mod and one version without because i am removing the snow mod because simsmith is over so no more snow for a little while <laughs> i enjoyed the snow but i think it's time to move on um and just get back to my usual stuff i was sort of figuring out whether i wanted to have a really open thing or like a closed off i ended up going with uh the open space downstairs like on the ground floor and then the first floor um more closed off because that's where the bridesmaid area is and the bathroom and kitchen because one of the goals to eat cake so you need a place to make a cake i've seen a lot of wedding venues that don't include that or like um just like randomly getting married in a park is difficult because you can't make a cake so you need to bring one and then that's like a thing you forget so i wanted to include everything you might need i didn't include a bar that's something i forget i forgot because one of the goals is also to have drinks but i don't have a bar but you can pretty easily add a bar in here somewhere. Maybe outside. That's lots of room outside. Uh, and there's a an way too big amount of tables out here. <laughs> I will warn you about that in a second. Or, or like right now. Uh, you'll see that in a second. But I'm, I'll warn you right now. I don't know. I got my sentences mixed up there. <laughs> there's like a really big amount of uh, tables and if you want to know why google winter wonderland wedding or something like that and there's a picture that will pop up with um, a wedding venue with massive amount of tables and that's what this is based around that inspired me i always google search like google image search for uh, buildings and things to inspire me because i'm like i'm not the best builder but i figured out that when i use like a reference i'm way better like i can build pretty decent stuff if i try to it's, it's like drawing you know when you're not good at drawing <laughs> um it's basically a mess when you just try to do something on your own and you're like i can do this so you just start drawing and it's like basically a horrible mess and no one can see what it is but when you have like a reference picture and you're trying to copy something it's way easier you can actually make it look like something probably not as good as the original thing but <laughs> 
I mean, it's something. Uh, so that's kind of me with building. Uh, I still think I'm creative. Like, I don't want to say that I'm pretty bad at building because I've improved a lot. And I think I'm a decent builder. I, I don't want to say that I'm good because this just sounds a little arrogant, doesn't it? Uh, <laughs> I really love this build. This is one of my favorite builds. It's so pretty. It's so magical. That's something I love. I love magic and... I mean, I'm like a really big Disney fan and Disney World is like my favorite place in the whole world. I want to live there if I could. <laughs> I really wouldn't mind like living in Walt's apartment in Disneyland. Like, that'd be perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> if someone would offer that, I'm like, yes, let's move. And this is where I started putting in massive amounts of tables. I tried to do the Christmassy ones because this was the Christmas special on my channel. The Disney Legacy Wedding, so I wanted to include some Christmas stuff, but I like these tables way better. Uh, so that's what I ended up with. I love this area. It's really unnecessary. I actually made this lot a museum in the end, because if you want to hold your wedding here, it needs to be a community lot. So people do come here, but because the tables are all in the front, it's actually kind of useful because they pretty much stay out here anyway which is nice I'm um, pretty sure the trees counted like count as like museum stuff anyway uh, you'll see me at like a lot of windows uh, on the first floor of the building uh, at the end just because I wanted it to make it work as a museum I'm not sure if I've recorded that but I did you'll see that in the end it's pretty ugly but I, I just sort of needed to happen I also feel like the centerpiece on the table which is really nice it's like the frozen thing you know <laughs> I love the copy tool like can I just tell you how much I love the copy tool because that would have been a pain like it didn't seem like a lot of time because I sped it this up like six times but that took me so long and if I would have done that again, I just go insane. So I love that the copy tool just copied everything for me. I would have liked a multiple select sort of thing, but that didn't work out. Uh, you'll see me work on the lamps out here a lot. I think I'm going to cut a lot of that out because I worked on it so much and then I just decided that it was annoying AF just because it wouldn't go. Like when you do the half walls thing, it wouldn't go. Uh, so I removed literally all of that. It looked really pretty. The lights look really pretty out there Like this is what I went for in the end like putting this all next to each other uh, But then I removed it because Yeah, it was just annoying. You couldn't I don't know I I hate it when my view is restricted in the sims Something about that just annoys me so much. So I ended up removing it uh, And now I'm working with the archway as doors because I wanted to sort of make it look like it was outside But then when I tried yeah I'm Messing with those lights. I just gave up at some point and I deleted it all So uh, don't mind me doing that. Just ignore that part <laughs> I'm also working with the size of the building a lot like I'm trying to move things around to sort of make it look different or better or whatever uh, but I end up going with the original size of the building because I don't know, it was just too annoying getting everything to work and it, it wouldn't and then I had to fix the whole roofing situation. So I ended up just going for the original plan. And I think this is where I decided to, to go for the sort of open space because I was looking at that and I'm like, I'm never gonna make this work. This is not enough space at all. <laughs> so I just removed everything, put in the fences all the way around removed doorways obviously i tried to put in windows to make it look a little open but i just i needed more space i needed more space for like the ceremony and that's obviously like the most important thing like it wouldn't be fair to <laughs> someone getting married to have that many pa tables and then like a really big building like everything is massive and then like here you can get married with your three mouse friends like tiny friends you can bring like three kids and that's it actually i only brought one kid <laughs> <laughs> in the Disney Legacy wedding, so that wouldn't have been a problem. I also downloaded the romantic uh, stuff, romantic garden stuff pack, I guess, because I wanted to play with the wishing well. Literally, the only reason I wanted that is because I wanted to play with the wishing well. I saw this um, video series of, oh, I don't know what, what her name is, but you need to look it up. It was the Wishing Well Legacy, and it was so much fun. Like, seriously, I love the, those videos. It's such a fun idea and I've been playing that on my own time and 
I don't know, maybe I want to make that a let's play one day, if she's okay with it, obviously. Like, I'm going to ask if she's okay with me using the ID, and she wants to keep that for her own. That's okay, I totally understand. Like, I don't like people copying my series uh, either, but I will credit her <laughs> if she does let me do that. Uh, I know, like, there's a couple of ideas that, like... Tony makeovers like I don't even know who started that that's so many people have done that like the Disney legacy challenge So many people have done that, but I've never seen that. I've never seen a wishing well legacy I think she she must have come up with that um, <laughs> And it was so much fun like if you want a new Legacy thing to play or like a new challenge go look that up I'm pretty sure our videos would just come up if you uh, search for wishing well legacy or something like that uh, It was really 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 fun and I wanted to play with the wishing well stuff so much and I'm pretty broke right now Like I don't have money to spare actually. I guess I'm not as broke as There are people who have way worse than me and like I'm living at my parents house so I'm fine but just my own money like things I can spend I don't have a lot and I don't have a job right now so I I sort of want to save my money just in case I really need it for something why am I pausing I have no idea I'm probably running to the toilet or something right now okay time to edit <laughs> It's like a fun fact about my video making process, I guess. Uh, I edit and I do the voiceover and edit at the same time. I just speed it up and then I start talking. And when I see something that needs to be cut out or is not correct, I'll just stop the voiceover recording and I'll continue. And on some days I'm really bad at talking. Uh, obviously English isn't my first language. So some days it's really, really hard for me. And then I just have to cut off my voiceover like every 30 seconds. And it's just a painful process. But luckily today is really good. My first like take was actually six minutes long, which is really long for me. Um, I'm not sure why I can't do voiceovers. I guess my standard for doing voiceovers is just a little um, higher, just because I can edit that a lot more. So when I make mistakes, I can edit that out. Like I can stop my recording and just start over. So I do. I do make some mistakes. Like I don't edit everything out. Um, <laughs> why am I pausing again? Like seriously. But for my voiceovers, I don't know. I don't like watching my videos and just staring at a screen without a voiceover. That's why I normally don't really like to see. Why am I pausing so much? Like I must have been doing something. Maybe I was talking to someone. I need to edit this out again, don't I? Yeah. But I'm going to finish my story first. <laughs> but anyway, um. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like watching speed builds t without a voiceover either. Maybe my brother was talking to me. That could have been something. You won't see any of this. Like, I'm talking about something and you won't see this because it's... I, I will cut it out. Uh, <laughs> maybe, like, a little bit just to show you sort of an example of what, a, what was happening. Like, I messed up right there and I'm not going to start over this entire recording. But if I say something really stupid, I will edit it out. But when I'm doing my Let's Plays, I don't because obviously that's life and I will just go with it. That's why I make many, many more mistakes in my Let's Plays. Uh, it's easier to do voiceovers like this because I can just edit it out. But I do like more of a like spontaneous thing, so I don't edit everything out. Like I just go with my personality and mistakes are fine, but I just like a little higher quality, I guess, for my voiceovers. But I don't like watching my entire video without a voiceover because I think that's boring. That's why I don't really watch speed builds uh, without a voiceover either. I don't know, I just don't like that as much. Sometimes the builds are really, really nice and I watch it. Uh, most YouTube videos, like, I'm really honest about this, I don't watch all of them because I don't, I mean, there's so many YouTube videos and I want to watch all of them, I'm, like, part of the Sims community right now, but I don't have hours of time every single day to watch videos, so I do skip through videos a little more than I used to. Um, there's some videos that I do watch in its entirety. I'm not going to say which, because I don't want to offend people like, you don't watch my videos. <laughs> I do, but I just sort of skip through them. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. If there's an interesting voiceover under a video, I uh, tend to watch it in its entirety more, most often. I like that more. I don't know, just a preference, I guess. Uh, some people are, like, seriously really good at building, so I will watch anything they do. Uh, <laughs> even if they don't have voiceovers. Sort of depends. Also, it depends on my interest in what they are building at that time. So, yeah, but most of the time I do like voiceovers more. I, I think most people like voiceovers, like videos with voiceovers more. I don't want... I, I'm scared. Like, people are offended so easily and I don't want to offend anyone. I don't want to get anyone angry. Uh, but I do do voiceovers 
in my entire videos and I don't like watching my videos back with other voiceover so that's why I do it at the same time <laughs> I'm like rambling so much today uh, but I like it it's spontaneous and it's fun and we should all do it more often just talk because you want to I don't know what that was but I watch my videos uh, with the voiceover at the same time and then I see mistakes like right now I'm pausing again which you won't see because I edited it out but that's because I stopped my recording and then started to edit like right now so I just like cut out so much stuff I'm already moved on to decorating like I recorded this in two parts because I didn't have time the first time to um, I think it's like before I was going to go babysitting at some place uh, and I sh stopped recording so this is like the second half the, the second thing I'm recording and this is sort of like fresh ideas so I deleted some stuff that I didn't like and this is where and I love this so much the blue and pink theme sort of started like baby blue and baby pink I just love that I love those colors so much I love the color combination I also gave um, the entire entire not entire what's that entire thing a <laughs> I guess I mix, mixed up the uh, thing and entire thing you know with the th and the t sound <sighs> You know, we don't even have the th sound in English, um, Dutch, Dutch, not English. Uh, um, I, I lost my train of thought, what was I saying? Um, th bleh, ah, I'm messing up, no, ah. okay, I will, I will leave this in. <laughs> anyway, I added like a little pathway leading up to the arch thing where you can get married. Um, and yeah i don't know i just sort of sort of like a red carpet but then a blue carpet like actually this is like seriously a carpet and i never used carpet before in the sims this is my first time using carpet i think i, I can't remember any time that i used carpet also the, the flowery things that i put between those trees to make it look like sort of like an archway that you're walking through which i really liked i removed those in the end i'm sorry i just i was when I started recording the Disney Legacy thing, I was too nervous that it wouldn't work, that I couldn't walk underneath it, and I didn't have time to test it out because I needed to get those videos done before Christmas. So I removed it, but if you like those, you can add them for yourself. It's from the Romantic Garden stuff pack. There's, there is some Romantic Garden stuff in here, so if some things are missing you just need to add your own stuff if you don't have the romantic garden pack that's i guess there's more packs that i have used i'm not sure which ones um one day i will try to do like base game stuff <laughs> i i don't know I, I don't mind like base game is pretty good also you see that i added like a lot of stuff into the kitchen like two stoves and uh, two ovens i guess and two sinks and everything but that's sort of because i wanted to make it look like a professional catering kitchen because this is not really something you'd have your sims use even though i did in the dyslexia video because my caterer didn't show up um but more sort of something you'd use for the catering company you hired so like the caterer you hired or something like that uh obviously the main area that is not decorated right now is the bridesmaid area like or i, I guess whoever you want to put in the groom or the bride or both or maybe it's like a gay wedding so you have to rights or you know something like that i don't know <laughs> maybe both i don't know what kind of wedding you're doing uh but i i sort of made it look more like a stereotypically bridesmaid area where people can get dressed and there's just lots of stuff happening um yeah, I don't know, they can get changed there into their proper clothing. And also there's a private bathroom, but there's also a public bathroom, which I added showers to. <laughs> I think that's pretty clever because usually your Sims needs are just messed up. Like I try so hard every single time to get their knees up really high before I start a social gathering. And then it just messes up everything. Everything messes up and it's just horrible so i need all of the help i can get by having all of their needs just covered <laughs> just everything they might need for their needs <laughs> is here um this is the little changing area for the bride or the bridesmaid if they want it to change into something else they can go behind the thing i really like the divider because it also has a mirror in there um 
so I just added some wall decorations and the shoe thing and you know, I don't know, I just added some stuff there. <laughs> this is a bedroom if your sims are sleepy because that happens too. So I added a bed in to this build too in case that happens. Uh, obviously it's supposed to be a bridesmaids area but you can probably have your sims just walking and you know, you don't have to be that true to the story if you don't want to. You don't have to. <laughs> I'm having so much fun with this voiceover. Can you can you hear? I just love this build too. I love weddings and I had a really good day today. Oh, I wanted to ask you a question. I was talking about the voiceover thing and I completely forgot. I wanted to add that question in. Do you prefer videos with voiceovers or not? That's the question. Yes or no? You can answer in the eye in the corner. I'm going to add that in before this video ends. But this video is almost over. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.